Greetings! Farmer Son Prepping here. Thought I'd do a little yard tour today. Uh, just got done cutting grass. Figured I'd take a little break. And show y'all my yard while the grass is cut. And nice and neat looking. Over here by the front door. We have day lilies. I've had my book out, y'all. I've been learning a little bit about foraging this week. So this is day lily. This is edible. You want the young leaves and flowers. That's what. That's the part that's edible. These over here are, I think mom called these amaryllis. This is some flowers that mom gave me. Well, I just had some fall off or I knocked them off. Uh, so you can eat that. Good to know. Also, y'all, I didn't know until the other day, you can eat kudzu. We got plenty of that around here. Of course, on that, you would want the young stems and young leaves. This is one of my several that I have. Stargaze lily. It's an oriental stargaze lily. It'll be blooming soon, as you can tell. I used to have all kind of annuals in here around that plant, and, uh, I just got where I just can't I can't water a bunch of stuff all the time like I used to could. This leg and everything. My butterfly bush just now starting to put on. Uh, it's grown quite a bit in size since y'all probably seen it last time. Hmm, let's see. Here is my clematis. Um Obviously, we're still having pretty tolerable temperatures right now. When it gets hot and it gets real humid, these things won't put flowers off. It is, the plant can't take the heat. But right now, it is beautiful. And look here, y'all. There's a brand new, brand new bloom right there about to open up. So It's doing well. I know, boys. I got to fill your tub back up full of water. I know. Over here, amongst all the grass and the clover, uh, I have in here, it is a uh, echinacea, whatever, it's purple cone flower. I believe that's what this and this is, purple cone flower starting to come back up. It comes back every year. Uh, that one is usually produced more. Anyway, I don't know what's up with it. It may be having an off year. It was some crazy nut. This is the same, this is that, uh, this is the yellow variant. I don't really know what this is called, but I'll just call it a yellow variant to the purple cone flower. Instead of purple, it's yellow. It's the same flower. Echinacea something yellow, maybe. There's green Jesus. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. Just a little, uh, there's my hammock. And... There's the yard and where the gate is down yonder. Let's see what else I want to show y'all. Here's another one of those little stargate lilies. It's about to bloom and the sun just came out y'all and it got hot. I planted some trees about two years ago. This is one of them. I can't remember which one's which. I guess I need to get my book out. I planted some hawthorns, which they produce fruit. And uh, I planted some uh, some crabapple trees. I don't know which one this is. Art Wild Man, what's up? You can probably tell me. But that's one of the trees I planted. Doing pretty good. Pretty tall. I would say uh, seven, eight feet tall. Getting pretty, getting pretty big there. And uh, that's about it as far as. Uh... Oh, I need to show you all my corn stalk. And my little squash plant I got get one over here. Give you an update on that. Whew. It's hot out here, y'all. I should be well, I put my shirt on for the video, but uh be getting a good tan today. Look at that. Look at the corn stalk, y'all. Look at that. He's doing good or she's doing good, whichever one she is. Corn stalk's doing amazing. Uh, my transplant it before it gets much bigger than that. This is my one. All this other green stuff is uh, grass or whatever. But my little squash plant is coming along nicely. 
I know, I need to plant some more stuff, y'all, but uh, I'm just experimenting with these because me, uh, me and seeds don't have a good... Like I said, once I get a plant, I can take care of a plant. But me and seeds don't, don't do good, so... I'm trying to make sure these are uh, well... Uh, well established first and you, and y'all then I will go to plant something else uh we still got plenty of time we have like a basically a 10 month growing season or something like that more of the uh more of the amaryllis whatever they are we got some more of those planted right there I've been wanting a rose bush. I just don't know where I want to put it because I'm trying to keep it easy to mow. And if I, if I don't watch out, y'all, I have so much stuff planted, I won't be wanting to mow the yard that much. This is another one of those trees I planted. Maybe this is the crab apple. Maybe this is the hawthorn. I don't know. But I planted some fruit trees. That is one of them. Uh, doing pretty good. He's uh, He's probably five feet tall. I'm a little taller than five feet, so he's not quite over my head yet, but doing well. And there's another one of my propane tanks up there, 100 pound bottle. Uh, so that's about it, y'all. That's about it. Uh, just thought I'd make a video and show you all around the yard while it was cut and real nice. Hope y'all are busy doing the things, planting, whatever it is your thing is. I do more prepping than I do planting, as you can see. But, you know, we have our dad's and mine. We have our garden. So uh, I can afford to piddle around with one or two things at a time because we have a garden. Dad plants that, and he plants huge gardens, so we got plenty. Uh... That's about it, y'all. This is Farmer Sam Prepping. Be good.